Hello everyone, and we are playing Last Dash. I'm Green Bean, the dashing. And I'm Sepp here. The, the pale one. Yep. So, I am, uh, I kind of paused mid-game here, because my sound player is dumb. But anyways, this is just at the beginning, day one. So this game is a game about flying as Best Pony, the Rainbow Dash. Uh, I, I don't see you being purple. <laughs> I, I don't see Flash Sentry anywhere. Plus, I don't think he flies. I don't think he does either, though. That would be weird. <laughs> I mean, he might fly if, like, Shining Armor put him in a catapult and just shot him across the map because he hates him. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen that in a video somewhere. Aw, oh, yeah. He does have a yeah, so, so this like, game looks very disorientating. It's weird, but I don't feel like it's too disorientating so far. But it's the too perspective. Weird because of, because of how, uh, oh, damn. Yeah. Because of how everything is 2D and 3D. That's like you got crashed. Yeah, I crashed pretty hard. Clearly, I'm not that good at this. <laughs> but yeah. Maybe uh, you have Windows 10. <laughs> Windows 10 is never very good at life. So, yeah, I mean, the game is pretty self-explanatory. Dodge things, uh, clouds slow you down, crashing into pillars is apparently an insta-game over, and you collect zap apples to go faster. But you apparently don't want to go faster into pillars. That's just not a good idea. Yeah. I don't know. I I'm kind of split. On one hand, I kind of exactly feel what you mean. The game is a little weird and disorientating, but... Oh, Cider. I can't really get to that. Um... But I'm not having too much an is issue with it. it. It's just that the 2D, 3D sprites make it really confusing to me. But to be, to be fair, I'm not playing, so I don't know how it feels when you played. Yeah. I guess it's mostly hard to see how how far away something is. Yeah. I guess the cider is a temporary speed boost. Yeah, it, it kind of is. I, um... I'm trying to... I'm trying to think of what the game you're thinking of could be. It kind of... You know what it kind of makes me think of? The, uh, rocket sections in Rayman. You remember those, Rayman's right? Sweet. Yeah. The third one? Um, I forget. Did the third one have them? I know the second one had a lot of the rocket sections. Oh. Wait, yeah. the second one had them? Yeah. I, I'd never played the second one a lot. Uh, I need to get to five. Th I might actually not even be able to do this. I think I can. I'm getting better. Uh, but you need to get to 5,000 meters to get unlock the next stage. Which, I'm kind of curious what the next stage is. Um, I, I don't know, cause like it's there's only two stages, so yeah. Um, if I'm not mistaken, there there is probably only two stages. The second stage is probably just some kind of like either it's high difficulty or it's a never ending mode. But this is already kind of a never ending mode, so I'm not sure. Yeah, I have no idea. Like it technically does end, but only if you screw up really <laughs> like if you hit the I mean and I don't mean just hitting the pillars if you hit the clouds you slowly start to slow down and if you slow down enough the uh you can lose enough time to not get enough distance but I mean the game seems to last quite a while as long as you're not hitting anything um but yeah fair enough as far as Rayman goes okay, I wonder if you can sound like Rayman <laughs> that would be cool. Also, probably I mean, impossible to tell bar. what's going on, but... Oh, yeah, maybe if you fill the speed bar all the way? Maybe. I think it's about the same guy who had this, who has that other racing game with the speed bar where you go Sonic Rain I think so you're right. It's quite possible. Yeah, I remember that game. I mean... The I Sonic Rain Boom here sounds impossible to control, but to be fair, I think it was really hard to control in that game, too. <laughs> but in that game, it didn't matter, because you win the ball. Oh, too much. right, right. I forgot how that worked. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit, yeah. 
When you, when you start getting too fast, it's pretty crazy. Okay. Honestly, at this point, the main thing I need to worry is colors, though. No, the sun's actually getting kind of low. Ah, oh, come on, Rainbow Dash, you can outrace the sun itself because physics! Physics are your bitch! Wait, you know that that is physically possible. Yeah, well, I, I guess you know, it is. It's not physically inaccurate. I guess it's not physically inaccurate. It just sounds physically inaccurate. But I guess with Rainbow Dash moving as fast as she does, the the more the bigger physically inaccurate thing here is the fact that I'm d constantly in the Crystal Kingdom forever. I mean, I don't know what That's else these book. crystal things are. Who these pillars? I don't know. They seem to specifically be made to get in Pegasi's way. Ah, oh, I lost. Damn it. I was so that. close. You, you Rainbow sure Dash that. looks tired, actually. Huh? Sorry. Wait, there's a night. But you sure that, didn't, that <sighs> Cadence isn't just some evil overlord who makes <laughs> everyone be giant pillars? Uh, maybe she is. I don't know. I don't know why else there'd be all these stupid pillars. But yeah. There's only like a cloud to that in the the clouds that are in what? The clouds that are in the floor, like that. Oh, one. <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. <laughs> they do tend to get in the floor. I um, yeah. Unfortunately, I find trying to dodge the clouds when you're going really fast to be pretty difficult. Honestly. Yeah, that's kind of the point. Well, I know that's kind of the point, but like. You know, I, I feel like it's almost undoably difficult, even though it's probably not. It's, um... You know, I'll see when I start getting moving faster again. Like, see, it starts really, uh, ramping up. Especially when I get another boost. But, I know that the yeah, air is you keep getting drunk. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess getting drunk while you're trying to, uh... About racer previous records is not the best plan. Damn it. Okay, that wasn't my fault. Uh, if you get too far, oops. If you get too far up on the screen, the game starts flipping out and it doesn't like it. And Rainbow Dash kind of just lags. So, pro tip don't accidentally drag Rainbow Dash outside of the game screen. You're not Pinkie Pie, you're not allowed to. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sadly, that is not, uh, that is not how life works. I can't just beat the game by flying outside of the game space. I do like how the distance counter has to tell you that it's meters. It's just, it just, it's not just an undefined distance. No, these are meters because we're keeping it accurate to the whole pony world. Uh, have they ever used meters in the pony world? No. Okay, that's what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, like in in this in this magic air horse universe, we gotta make sure we at least do math correctly. Yeah, clearly. I mean. So also, I guess that actually back, back to the question. I mentioned that you can do the whole flying fast enough that the sun is always in your eyes. That is technically possible, but yeah. I'm pretty sure it's not possible when you go like five meters an hour. <laughs> okay, I mean five meters a second. Yeah. So I don't think that's fast enough. Probably gotta go like 500 meters a second. Oh, damn it. Damn. I got too greedy. Yeah, I'm probably gonna give it another couple of goes and that might be it. This. I guess, I guess that's kind of what I was saying. I mean, it would make more sense if it was undefined and you could just assume that, well, Rainbow Dash is flying at, like, ridiculously high speeds, like, rainboom speeds. She could, you know, if she was doing a rainboom, it's pretty guaranteed she could outspeed the sun. I think. But... Yeah, that's true, honestly. Yeah, it's hard I, to I, say. I, I don't know how fast you need to go, I just know that you can go pretty damn fast. Yeah, that's true. You would need to go fast enough that you go into the next time zone within one hour. Sure. Because then it's possible. Yeah. But does the question even have time zones? Uh, I mean, probably not. 
Because the sun sets and rises at the same time everywhere. Again with that issue of going off the top screen. I do, I do just like that. That you kind of have that issue with. It's not an issue for the sides of the screen, obviously. But for the top of the screen, uh... It's a big problem. But I don't know... To be know fair, though, the thing is... The, the, the frame would actually where the cursor is, right? Yeah, she So is. technically, you shouldn't be getting outside of the box in the first place. Right, I know. It's just sometimes when you move the cursor really fast, it's, you know, easy to overcompensate. Yes. But at least you don't die by touching the edges of the screen. Yeah, that's true. That would make this a lot more difficult. Um, but as far as time zones go, I don't even know if Equestria is big enough for uh, having that, like, multiple time zone kind of thing. So you, you Pegasus horse pony, just kick the clouds, <laughs> make them die. Yeah, you think Why is every single Rainbow Dash ever like, in every game Rainbow Dash shows up, she's not allowed to touch clouds. Yeah, she's I was actually, I was gonna say that it's funny because in the show they pretty distinctively shown that uh, clouds are not an obstacle for, um, like at least normal clouds are not generally an obstacle for Pegasus ponies. They can, they can usually deal with those, but, um, in games, yeah, no, rain cloud, ah, oh, it's so dangerous, it'll slow you down and kill you and stuff. Cause that's how clouds work, right? Hit a cloud and you lose the race and then you die. Oh. I think you probably shouldn't speed up anymore, just keep the speed that you have. Yeah, okay. That's fine, I am going quite fast already, and I haven't seen any good opportunities- well, okay, I was right in front of me. <laughs> but, yeah, I probably shouldn't have- well, I sped down now. Okay, I can do this. Those, don't like that. Well, I gotta speed up a little bit, make sure I don't lose my cool here. The Matrix is happening in my face. God, I can do this. Come on. Almost there. I made it. Okay. Whew. I made it, so I'm gonna keep going until I die, but I've officially made it so we can at least see the second stage before uh, we end this. Which is good because... <laughs> I guess I had to crash before the end of it, which is good though, because I was uh, legitimately concerned I wouldn't get to it. Oh, okay, so there are more than uh, the two. Clouds. Clouds don't slow you down, but reduce your health. Slightly higher acceleration and max speed. No items. Okay. So... But there's different. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, that's actually pretty awesome. There are actually different modes. And the map doesn't look that different, but it changes the gameplay significantly, which is cool. And it has a different soundtrack, which is cool. Or, or you know, a different song, not an entire soundtrack. But you know what I mean. Okay, so. There's no time limit. Oh, yeah, you're right. So I can just keep going. So this is all about survival. I just can't hit clouds three times or pillars at all. That actually makes this seem significantly easier, though you do rapid though you do continuously speed up unlike the other one. So And also the problem is getting three times cursed too, so yeah. I I wouldn't say it's easier. Reaching five thousand is probably harder because of the fact that you can't slow down. We'll see. This sounds more like the type of game type I'm better at. I like having health better than an undefined system, and I've already beaten the 5,000 for the others, but we'll see. I mean, you very well could be right. I just feel like it's easier for me because I don't have to worry about hitting out power-ups. I just have to worry about not screwing up. Also, this one's got a pretty sick beat to go with it. I do, I do appreciate the, uh, music in this so far. I'm not sure, uh, I'm not sure where it's from, but, uh, pretty good choices, I gotta say. 
Yeah, look at all this sick cloud dodging. They should call me Rainbow Dash the Evasive. Fucking plus... If I was in D&D, I'd have a plus 20 to my AC roll. People couldn't even hit me. I said when you, I said you were gonna say if I was in D and D, if you wore me, you would get plus twenty. Where, <laughs> where would that? Uh, I mean that would be pretty OP. I want a wearable plus twenty outfit. Uh, I'm almost there. Almost there. I just need to, literally at this point, I just need to not hit a pillar. The clouds aren't even an issue, because I'm so close by now. So close. I made it. You proved me wrong. So keep going. Maybe you can go with Sonic Rainbow. <laughs> Oops. I'm probably not going to make it that far, but I'll try to get the uh, speed now. Sorry. Oh, Sonic Rainbow. <laughs> Sorry, no Sonic Raid Boom. I'm not good enough. But, uh, oh, nighttime. Charge up the Pillar Breaker by flying fast! High acceleration and max speed. No clouds. Difficulty hard. And at this point, we don't have any other unlockables, so. Basically, I just have to go fast and pl plow through the pillars for the fun of it, I guess. But there's gonna be a lot of pillars, so that might be hard. I don't know. But, but hey, I can plus through them. Just you can break one. Right, right. I okay. So it's like a life bar, kind of. Yeah, that makes sense. I gotta say, I'm impressed by this game, though. It's more extensive than I thought. Heck, for people who are super into high scores and that kind of stuff, I'm sure it's a blast. Like. Probably out of all- this is probably one of my top tier out of all of the, uh, Flash games we've played. I can't say it's my favorite, but it's, you know, out of just random games you can go online and mess with, this is pretty good. Yes. That's not Pegadome or whatever it was called. Pegadome. <laughs> Perhaps not, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, maybe I'm just feeling really cheery, but I definitely feel like giving this a good score, and also, oh my god, this is, this is pretty hard. Look at how, ah, damn it. Wow, I got a Almost broke a pillar. Yeah, I almost did. Let's see, I do real, I doubt you do, but I can run check on clouds. If you kill, if you die by a cloud, you get an alternate game over screen. I know it seems like a weird thing to check, but I'm legitimately curious. I legitimately want to see if I, like, get something. Do I, uh... <laughs> yeah, I do, nice. Rainbow Dash just pouting on a cloud. It's a good game over screen. I think. I mean, Those I. Those are her only friends. Yeah, exactly. Oh my gosh, it is just like that. Except, uh, I I can say this game was better than the mysterious Merdewell episode. <laughs> there, there's your rating. <laughs> better Here's than your that. rating. Stay as Merdewell. Oh, all right. So. Uh... Thank you for watching. Yeah, okay. Thank you all for watching, and see you all next time.